Good evening. <laughs> this is the beginning of a Brooke Hart Project home vlog. An Eve vlog. Let's eat. Wait. What? I thought you were going to Publix. <laughs> <laughs> that shows what kind of day we're both having, eventually. <laughs> I was like, can we get pub subs for dinner? <laughs> no one can use <laughs> They're still going to be delicious. <laughs> but no wonder they didn't have the sauce that I requested. I mean, I got like buffalo chicken. They're really good with like they take the chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. This is still going to be good, bud. It's still going to be good. I can't believe I did that. Remember I was in the phone and I was like, well, I see the, the store that's next to the Wawa and I'll just pull in. Oh, I did not hear you <laughs> say that. I got an well, we got a bunch of peppers. <laughs> and I got roast beef with a bunch of stuff. We got little Kickstarters hiding there. And some, and, and that's why pretzels. I was like, why don't they have the pretzels I want? Because it wasn't a grocery Cause store. Because it was a gas station. <laughs> Put a comment down below if you think Wawa is a gas station or more than a gas station. I was talking to one of Josh Bug's friends <laughs> who's from the, like grew up in the South and he's, or no, grew up, grew up in Jersey. And I was like, no, Wawa's are not gas stations. They're more than that. They're Wawa's. <laughs> I was like, building next to with some cigarettes and sandwiches and chips and drinks in front of gas stations or get in front of gas. I've just never seen a pumps. Wawa without a gas station. Right. I think he was like ideologically saying that Wawa's are better, but they're gas stations. But this little girl just peeked around the corner. <laughs> I thought she was gonna bite you. That's really good. That was what I got distracted with after dinner. I'm still working. Yeah. And you're still working on the vlog. I am just do... posting it up. Yeah. And getting Instagram situated. And then I have some video editing to do for a project. And it's 7.20 p.m. That's how busy this woman's been all day. Um, to be honest, I didn't work a ton during the day because I was kind of having just an iffy day. Yeah, another heavy day. But we did, we did, did we talk about, we, we got information today? Oh, no, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. Yeah. Um, we have to do that one more test that we talked about. Mm -hmm. So, so it does set us back another cycle. Another month. Because instead of starting the IVF this cycle, we, do the test we this start cycle. the test this cycle. So we start the IVF hopefully April then. Mm -hmm. But Sarah's doing some fun video editing for a client across the world. So the time mm -hmm. difference, she needs to kind of do a bunch of editing tonight. Kind of Not thing. a bunch we'll start, of editing. But start. Yeah. We'll start. Want to see what fun thing I'm about to go do? Yeah, Danny Zuko. We've been living with our old full mattress stacked on the queen mattress the other box springs below that and so i'm gonna bring the old full box spring and mattress to the dumpster and i'm gonna try to put this underneath the frame and see if it's if not we'll have to like put it somewhere because we don't want to get rid of it just yet because we might still use it but i don't think we'll end up using it because it's too high for eve to jump off of and i don't want her to break her little pomeranian legs strapped on the top of the fusion with one of my like cranky strappy guys i usually use two like one on this door one on this door and one towards the back to keep it held down but i'm literally just going to block this way to the dumpster How you get rid of a box spring and a mattress by yourself. Nifty car, nifty straps, nifty bed set, nifty dumpster area. Super easy. Thank you, apartment complex, for being super awesome like that. He's trying to help me, so no box spring. Box spring's there. I'm gonna see if it'll fit underneath here, but before I do that, I got some metal penetrating screws and I'm gonna screw them 
these middle pieces into location so that these boards don't flip flop and the mattress falls through because it happened yesterday while we were recording the, the sign off and Eve freaked out. She like lost her mind, thought there was an earthquake or something and jumped off the bed. So I'm gonna do some handiwork real quick and use these metal penetrating screws to get through the aluminum here and the siding over here. Let's see how this goes. One hour later. Okay, so that, that was good. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but it went very well. Let me show you. The center aluminum or the sidings didn't have holes in them. So what I had to do, I had a combination of these metal penetrating, but I also, they, for the aluminum that wasn't good, so I had to use these drill bits. I actually busted this drill bit is from in there. So I might be able to salvage that, maybe not, I don't know. But, all right, I literally just spent the past 10 minutes looking for my cell phone, I have no idea where it is. But I'm using Sarah's phone to get, use a flashlight. So right there is the underside of the board. There's my fan. That's the aluminum centerpiece you see there. I put the screw there. So I did that along the whole path there to keep all these in the spot. They're all sturdy. They're all not moving. They're not going anywhere. So before I put the mattress back down, I'm going to see if the box spring here, if we can store that underneath the actual frame. Wow, 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 it fits like a glove. I'm gonna pop the mattress down and we have all this room for activities. I'm really mad at myself because when I went to the bring the box spring and, and mattress the dumpster, I forgot to bring the frame. But we're gonna put those somewhere neat, probably over here with the other storage-esque stuff. You guys have like known since Matt and Ben moved in, we started doing like the simplistic purge kind of thing that like our room has been more of a storage-esque thing. We've been trying to get better with the whole like purging of things and keeping only simple things that we need that um, we have like six more months. I think our lease is up September 1st and we are we want to move out of this apartment into a new one in the winter garden, winter park or celebration area. We're looking for a one bedroom, one bath at a decent price. If you know anybody, let us know. Um, but we're not moving out till September 1st. So we still have plenty of time for this to be a nice homey bedroom for us. So that's what we're trying to do. So. I feel so good that I was able to do this. I didn't know when I was going to do this because I was going to do it over the weekend and then our weekend was busy and you know guys, we're always going, going, going and our go, go, go doesn't always mean that we're go, go, going in our home, making our home better. So I feel great that we're using this night home, not at the parks for Sarah to get that work done for us to kind of recoup because it was a heavier day learning. We learned very early, like 7 a.m. that we were going to get pushed back another month from the IVF. So um, it's good the doctors are thorough. They're, we need to be 100% safe and 100% thorough, but it is a bummer that we're being pushed back another month. But we do what we got to do. It is what it is. It's good to be home. All the, the isms that we say. Someone's sleepy. Sarah's editing away. Hear her looking up transitions and stuff like a little video editor. I started watching some movie called... Annihilation. Oh. It's okay so far. Call it a pathology if you saw this in the human. Peter, you're watching creepy stuff. I can't tell if I like it or not. It's the <laughs> ending. What is this called? Annihilation. It was in theaters not long. I don't. I'll look up the. I Rotten remember Tomato. seeing previews for it. I don't think it did well. Hello. My video is gonna take a little bit of time to export, so here I am. I'm really excited to, like, I think and hope eventually show you guys what I'm working on. Um, you have to get permission from your client. You will watch this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm also just very excited for her to see what um, is done so far and to keep working on it this week. It's, is it one video? It's five videos. I know, but what have you done? Oh, just like a preview of how I'll edit. Like okay. kind of like a style trial it's not run. one complete video? No, it's just a minute. This is what you do when your wife is being a productive, awesome... I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Freelance. She's not even being a freelance graphic designer. Now. She's being a freelance videographing editor? Video, anyway. video editor? And my dog fell asleep an hour ago and I watched a not good movie called Annihilation. I realized I never actually used this over the weekend because we were so busy so i think we'll make a spot a tea shout out to 
Honeymoon Peter, who tried eating 76 ounces of steak at the Big Texan Motel. Paid for that mentally, physically, and emotionally. Didn't finish it, got 55 ounces done. Up here in my Lay's, or Jay's, not Lay's, Jay's potato chips tin from Chicago, Illinois. It's a decorative piece, but. Oh, that was loud. This is where I keep all of my teas of all different kinds. I think I'm gonna go with just good old Earl, Earl Grey Black from my friends in uh, Newcastle. Um, I definitely borrowed this from my sister-in-law, Christina, probably five years ago, and I never gave it back to her. So, Christina, if you're watching this, um, sorry, I'm not sorry. If you see this before we come to Chicago next week, uh, I'll bring it, but if you don't call me out on it, I'm not gonna bring it. It's good to be home. Ooh. Looks so good. Why, uh, why am I making a cup of tea at 10 to midnight? I don't know. We're my, having girl talk. My doggy definitely looks ready for bed. <laughs> what about your wife? She looks ready for bed, too. Mm -hmm. I'll guzzle this cup of coffee. Or tea. <laughs> cup of tea. Cup of tea. Spot of tea. Oh, she's sniffing. Why is she sitting like that? Our vlog is coming to an end, but we'd like to show you this mug. So here is a mug from our honeymoon, historic bed and breakfast, Bodker Mansion of Old Town, Albuquerque, New Mexico. That was my favorite place we stayed, y'all. That was Sarah's favorite place we stayed, y'all. If you have a connection to that, if you stay there or know anything about it, or know anybody who does, or people who collect bed and breakfast mugs, because these Remember are from... Remember the Rio Grande was like right near it? Yeah. That was crazy. The Mexico Mexico is my pottery. Favorite state. Com, hand thrown USA 2013. If you would like this mug, put a comment down below and we'll reach out to you. We only have one. We'll pick somebody who says if there's anybody even who wants it. I don't presume there's gonna be more than zero <laughs> people that may want it, but um, we'll just it's see. part of our downsizing, and I don't know. I don't know anybody else who's been to Albuquerque, New Mexico, who we would like, want that. We like to donate our stuff, but in this case, this was like a really it's important. It's very specific, one. and it's important to us. We want to see it go to somebody who actually has a connection to it. Maybe Justin Scard wants it. Maybe. <laughs> the message of the day. The message of the day. I call it your message of the day. Maybe the journey isn't so much about becoming anything. Maybe it's about unbecoming everything that isn't you so you can be who you were meant to be in the first place. What, what a word of wisdom. What words of wisdom. <laughs> um, so what'd you say? Our puppy is so sleepy. Our puppy is so sleepy. And we have good news. Um, because we got our information about the study today, we could Ooh. book our trip to Chicago Yay. accordingly. So we will be going to Chicago next week. Tuesday night late. Tuesday the 26th to March the 3rd. Sunday, so Tuesday to Sunday. Tuesday to Sunday. So the reason that we chose these days is because we will be able to be home for the anniversary of my dad passing away. So we get to eat all his favorite snacks and watch all his favorite movies with my mom and the girls. So that worked out well. Guess what time it is? One in the morning. <laughs> this is what happens like. It's great when we don't go to the parks because we need to be human and not go to the parks sometimes and rest and stuff, but we're so used to going out every night. <laughs> that, like when we don't go out, our like, energy doesn't get like depleted. Yeah, and we also like want to like use up the cozy time at home. So, so, so it's <laughs> later, than, it's later than we should have stayed awake. Yeah. You know it's late when Eve's already like looking at you like, go to bed. Yep, and tomorrow we are going to Hollywood Studios. Oh yeah. So we're excited with some favorite friends. Well, you've seen before, but only a handful of times. <laughs> and we're going out to eat, too. They're also responsible for sending us those lobsters, so. <laughs> um, 
yeah, we're going to dinner with them, and we're going to see Fantasmic because they've never seen Fantasmic before. Kind of a pop, but... But we're also honored to be there for their first time. And show them the ways. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>